Hey everyone, I'm here in Hackney Wick at Studio 92, 94. Say what with frauds. I got Christopher and Michael here from Frauds, and we're gonna have a big chat about Ting, mainly Lim Mania, but also about the band Frauds. So, Chris, you are in the band Frauds. What do you do in the band Frauds? I play drums and I also sing, and I've got a lot of chatter. You're the bands man. I am now, apparently. Sad. And Michael, what do you do in the band Frauds? Uh, I play guitar and sing and uh, keep silent most of the time. Keep silent. Sometimes every now and then I've seen you bark into the microphone. A little bit. A little bit. Here and there. Here and there. I first saw you guys, I mean, we've been on tour together, didn't we? We did a tour a couple of years ago. Seems like ages ago now. 2017. 2017, what? years ago literally two years ago and it was special for me because that was the first time that i'd gone out as a two-piece and all the bands on that bill great we were all two pieces together and there was a bit of a vogue at the time and i first saw you guys at the windmill in Bristol supporting the saint pierre snake invasion mm -hmm. and i cried wolf was that the yeah. name of that band i cried wolf and the singer did like a backflip on the stage and i saw you guys do the support slot and I just thought it's so completely excellent and I think I tried to say hello after stage but you just brushed me off super unfriendly what was going through your mind I, I'm the silent one I don't talk I should have talked to you sorry oh man did you, do you remember that show I do remember that show and I remember you coming up to you saying uh, well done and, uh, well done yeah, and I was like oh, thanks man and then I was outside with Damien from St. Pierre Snake Invasion and it's the first time I've met him too and I was like how do you think your show went after St. Pierre played and he was like yeah it was great uh, Jamie Lemon from Reuben came down and I was like I didn't see him I, I was know. I'm hardly <laughs> inconspicuous <laughs> I don't go in disguise wow I didn't see him and well, uh, I, I know I, I just remembered you from back in the day so I don't yeah we had we because we remember you differently I used to look weirder did I look weirder no I probably look weirder now yeah I used to look more normal yeah, sorry. We, we, had, we had a summer when we were kids. Where children. Children. When we saw you about four times, I reckon. Really? Mm. And it was ma it mainly by chance as well. You so not by, you wouldn't have gone to see Ruben on purpose. No, no one did. Everyone just was there in the venue. <laughs> People that were sleeping there anyway, we woke them up. Shame, shame. No, it was nice. It was like, you know, oh, we really want to see a band. And it's like, oh, Ruben's point. Oh, yeah, cool. We usually were. <laughs> if you go and see a gig, we were usually there as well. Well, that's good. And I, But you know what? You guys saw me again because you were in the crowd giving me maximum support at Leicester Handmaid, mm -hmm. which was last month. And you guys had done a show. Tell us about your set at Leicester Handmaid last month. It was, it was awesome. It was, we got to the venue. There was nobody there. Fantastic. And it was like, well... And it felt like it was a bit out of town. And we thought, well, if 12 people turn up, absolutely fine. Right. But, you know, there was about 100 people there in the end. Oh, amazing. So it went off. Yeah, it was really, really good. Who else was, who else was on the bill at your stage? I told you already, you, there was a band called Sport who were on before us. I've heard about Sport. We, I think we were yeah. talking about Sport, yeah. Orchards as well. Were... Orchards who are also going to yes. come on the road with us, Road to Lemania. So let's talk a little bit about Road to Lemania. We'll talk about Frauds, the band, in a sec. But Road to Lemania is two dates in Glasgow and London where I'm going to be taking False Advertising, who we were speaking to earlier, and Frauds and Orchards, who we'll be speaking to soon, as a little sort of mini Lemania before the main event Lemania 2, which is in 2000 Trees in Cheltenham at the end of the week. So there's two little gigs beforehand, little lead up Road to Lemania, and then the full lineup with Conjurer and Show Me the Body and Loathe and all those excellent acts at 2000 Trees, take taken over the whole stage. So, I mean, you guys, you, you didn't do the first Lemony, why not? You didn't invite us. That is correct, because I didn't <laughs> invite you. I've sort of got a rule that I don't, I don't like anyone to have, like, do two Lemonies in a row, at least in a row. So I'm really happy to have you guys, because obviously I fucking love you guys. Really super happy to have you guys on this Lemania, because I never knew we were going to do a second one. And so the fact that you're on it means, like, muchos to me. What's happening? I mean, let, tell me a little bit about how frauds formed. What happened? We were in a band before, so it wasn't, it's not an amazing story. Uh, I started... Depends on the band. Well... If it's Guns N' Roses, that's an amazing story. No, it was, uh, we're in a Guns N' Roses tribute band. Yes. Previously. Genuinely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Nuns and Roses. Nuns and Roses seems legit. We split up in the end because of we couldn't decide which members of the band should be the nuns and which one should be the roses. A common complaint. I understand. I feel your pain. Me and Chris were nuns, obviously. Of course. So um, we decided to to split up from the other guys. I had no time for those roses. It just wasn't working anymore because, you know, musical differences. Muse diff. So how, how would you describe the sound in Frauds for people that haven't heard you, which is sort of what these videos are, they're like a little introduction for you to, to the people. How would you describe Frauds sound? It's really hard always, as you know. Great. Yeah. Noisy, punk-ish, noise, singing. That's it. I got no wow. Idea. Yeah, I know. Profound. It's. I mean, you must be able to do better than that gibberish. <laughs> Someone described it really well. I can't remember who it was, but they described it like heavy riffs with Chaz and Dave. Yeah, <laughs> I quite. I can see that. I've never, never heard that before. Yeah. That's good. I just sort of. I really like it. It's aggressive, but it's also like a little bit queasy as well. What was the video you did where you were in the bar and there's like two no fish, no fowl, no... Oh, yeah, yeah, smooth. Smooth. That video, I think, is really represents the queasy edge of it because you've got the queasy guitar effects and then the two... I love all the videos, man. And you shot a new video yesterday. Is this correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We shot a new video and it's for a song called Putin's Day Off. Right, and what's is the... Can we see the length you had to go to for this video? Can we have a sneak preview? So I've been growing my hair for six months so I could do this. <laughs> yeah, I was a mid-trouser. I mean, you make me look like I've got quite a sensible haircut compared. <laughs> this is a good look for me. Get a zoom in on this bullshit. Well, why did you do it? Uh, I wanted to be a mixture between uh, a clown and Vladimir Putin and the poster of Barack Obama, the Hope One. That was my idea. <laughs> Seems legit. I uh, can't wait for the video. And what? So you're releasing a single. Who is it coming out on, or what's happening? Because you've been doing some stuff with Alco Pops. Did did animals come out on Alco Pops? Is that correct? No. So what have you been doing with Alco Pops? No, we work very closely with Alco Pops' wife. Oh yes, of course. She released uh, Morning Toast with Jam and Juice. Yes. Seek it out because it's absolute non-stop uh, rock shop. So this new stuff, it's not coming out on Alco Pop. How are you how are you doing it? Uh, this is a little little teaser, so we, we're not we are in the in the midst of planning, well, writing our next album. So and then we'll exciting. See, we'll see what happens with that eventually. But this is like we're just we're just doing a little teaser, a little something for Lem Mania. So hopefully it'll be out on the fifth of July. Either be out on the fifth of July or it'll be out the day after two thousand three, so twelfth of July. Oh, it's all happening around Lem Mania. What can what can people expect? I feel like we might have covered this, but what can ex- people expect? Ex people expect from your shows at Road to Lemania and then Lemania. What are you going to bring? Anything special out the bag? Massive riffs, huge, and a lot of smiles. Lots of smiles. That's what I think of when I think of frauds. I really can't. Uh, you know, frauds are excellent, and so are all the bands on the bill for Road to Lemania and Lemania. So come along, please. Check out Frauds' uh, most recent single, Animals, on YouTube and Suck Jobs and Sandwiches and Smooth and all them. And then get ready for the goodness at Road to Lemania and Lemania too. Thanks so much for hanging out and we'll see you there. <laughs>